So I built this cabin for Dave and Lana, my friends who live here, as their office for <laughs> for the restaurant, but it's locked right now because I, I didn't think about that. Hopefully they'll come home soon. In San Francisco and in California in general, like, well, each city has like different codes. So like you're allowed to build structures that are in San Francisco under 100 square feet because it's considered to be a shed. So you can legally build them without a permit. So this structure is under 100 square feet. So, you know, we didn't have to get any permits for it or anything. I, I'm sorry about, we can take all these boxes out. I'm waiting for like this Goodwill no, situation, so. Lana and I totally collaborated and she had this idea that like, when she walks out of her house, she doesn't want to see a giant structure. So when we built this, so you walk out of the house, you don't see a big structure. When you stand here, it actually looks like it could be like a 50 square foot structure or smaller. It looks really tiny. That's something I wouldn't have thought of. Like I probably would have made like a square or I would have made it more like rounded or something. But like she was like, I want it to feel like like it's not imposing on our yard too much, but still feel big inside. And so we kind of made that shape so it, it doesn't you don't see the, you know, the line and how far it goes back on the back side of it, you know. So, I mean, I use as much recycled material as possible just because it's like, a lot of times old material is better and then it's, it's cheaper too. And it just has a better feeling to like get something in a, a recycling yard or to find something on the street than it does to buy it brand new, you know? It's just, there's something about the experience that's just better. Um, so like all the windows are all, like I build these windows, but then these are from, you know, recycling yards. And so like a window like this, I think was maybe like 40 bucks, you know? And then that door was probably maybe like 50 bucks with the casing, the casing, you know, the outside. But they're always, it's always a little funky, like things don't quite work. So you gotta kind of doctor them up a little bit. Like this door right here, you can kind of see like the bottom is, it's a little warped. So the bottom sticks out just a little bit. It's no big deal. But if you were doing like finished carpentry for some fancy person, they might, that might bother them, you know? But for us, it's a nice door and it shuts and it's pretty much airtight. Not totally airtight, but it's pretty tight. A lot of the framing and the ceiling rafters, this is recycled dug fur. I got that from a salvage yard. And, you know, I scavenge a lot of wood. Well, it kind of started because there's a lot of redwood fences around here and people were always tearing them out. And so we started kind of collecting that stuff. But this is actually not that good of one here. This is like a newer fence. I mean, it looks beautiful and old, but uh, like this fence though, this is really old wood right here, this one. It's like what, the boards are really wide. They don't make fence boards that wide anymore. So I guess it's just easier to make them narrower now. Now we kind of have a little network of people and you know, there's like one guy in particular who tears out a lot of fences and then he lets us know when he's tearing one out and then we go and get the wood. And then, so we kind of stockpile it. I'll actually show you. This is our little stock. We don't have a lot right now because I just built this, but this is like a little stockpile you can see of like what we collect. Is what you really want is the old stuff. Like we don't really, so like nowadays, it, when they say like a one by six, it's not really a one by six. It's like, like five eighths inches thick. So it's like, this is like, what a one by six looks like now, or this is a piece of a one by six, but you can see the thickness. This is, this is what they would call one inch now when you buy lumber, cause it's milled. But in the old days, it was actually one inch. So this is like real one inch lumber. And so when you find wood like this, it's generally redwood. It's a lot of times it's old growth redwood. And so it's really, really nice stuff that would be really expensive to buy. So this is kind of like what it looks like now if you buy redwood fence board. And this is what it, you know, so it's, it's quite a bit thicker and it's just a lot nicer. I would never pay for it because if you just look for it, you end up getting it. But it definitely takes practice, like finding it. I'm just always looking. Um, so that's what this is here. So you can see it's really thick. These battens are really thick. And this is old growth redwood here. And it, it has no knots in it. The, the grain is really tight. It's all heartwood, which is like the center of the tree, which does a lot better with the elements. The actual red part of the tree, the sapwood is outside. It's like a white 
like so this is like the heartwood and then sapwood is like a like a blonde color that you know looks more like this here that's sapwood and that's that will rot a lot quicker and like i think termites eat it quicker don't quote me on that one but <laughs> it doesn't last as long it rots basically a lot quicker so this is kind of going to function as like Lana does a lot of you know the bookkeeping and the payroll and all this kind of stuff. She's going to be doing a lot of that stuff in here, but then also she's an artist too. So this is going to be like an area where she can do artwork. She can, you know, work on paintings or drawings or whatever she wants here. I think that like having a small space really limits you with what you can do. And I think that's the attraction is like people are interested in simplifying their life. And so like it's kind of like a forced simplicity and kind of like limited parameters, you know, and it's like that's the kind of the lure is like simplifying your life. This is actually a new cedar here. Like I bought this, they had this kind of, this stuff was really inexpensive. Like it's the outside of the tree, so there's, it's really knotty and it's kind of like sapwood. And I actually really like the knots, like I think it adds like a nice thing and you know, it has a nice smell too. Part of scavenging, like you feel so good when you find stuff. Like even with this floor, I found it at a salvage yard, but like I found the exact amount. Like I found a hundred square feet of it, just barely. Like I bought every single piece they had and I had like, I have like just a few left over over there of pieces. And it feels so good when you find it as opposed to like going and buying it, which is a really crummy feeling. Yeah. <laughs> New floor, like the types of floors that you buy these days are so, like if you go to like a home building store and you want to buy a hardwood floor, you either have to buy really expensive oak hardwood floor or you buy this like stuff that's like, it's just like a veneer and it's not even real wood. And it's so, it looks so bad. And it's so expensive still. This is such a better option. You know, the greenhouse is, um, Neighborhood here, you can't grow a whole lot. It's just not warm enough. And there's also like a lot of salt air. So the greenhouses really help. This is also just made out of a lot of like windows I found around the neighborhood. This is like fence board, all the insides fence board. How'd you learn to build? I kind of like learned through, a little through my dad. And um, building stuff was just kind of something I always did because art you know, especially when you're younger, it's like you're not going to make really much money at that point. And then learn, having those skills kind of like crept its way into my artwork. And so then I started building like the structures, you know, like the tree houses and vehicles. And... When you're building a structure that has to function, like with wood and building houses is a lot. It's hard in the way that it's hard work, but it's easy in the way that it's like it's kind of like you actually have limited parameters with like what it needs to be. And then that helps take a lot of the pressure off 